What's up, everyone? How's it going? You're watching Nostalgic. Uh, this is going to be an unboxing and review of two of two additions to my um, Fast and the Furious collection. What you see behind me, this whole case is nothing but Hot Wheels Fast and Furious. Half of that is also Hot Wheels, not Hot, not Hot Wheels Fast and Furious. So like various other companies that produced either Fast and the Furious um, castings or like homage Fast and the Furious castings where it's like a modern car with the same livery, stuff like that. Um, collection video will come soon, preferably, hopefully, after the next wave of these comes from Hot Wheels. This is what I'm going to be opening. I'm sure a lot of you already have these. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen reviews of these. But uh, my channel is just about my collection and my thoughts and uh, what am I up to. <laughs> so I got these two. So yeah, like I said, this whole case right here, nothing but Hot Wheels. So it's a premium... Um, semi premium and main lines they're all there i'm up to date these are the latest editions um and there's one more coming in the next release which only has one car that i need uh the rest are reprints re-releases so first of all that's messed up <laughs> that uh hot wheels does that but it's also not messed up because um there's a lot of new collectors, and I think that's awesome uh, that they're re-releasing all these. For those guys that are new collectors, that's great, because they get to um, build up their Fast and Furious collection and not have to pay, like, scalper prices or reseller prices, you know, go out there and look for those really rare ones that are way overpriced. Uh, they can just um, buy these new releases with the new cars, and, you know, like, this one has... Oops, sorry. This one has a bunch of these uh, cars in there. Honda NSX, Toyota uh, Sprinter, the 70 Plymouth, and Nissan Skyline. All of those are re-releases, and I have them in my collection uh, pretty much from original releases. So I try not to collect doubles. Um, so uh, let's see. I'm going to open this. Uh, usually I rip into these, but uh, in this case I'm being careful and... Uh, cutting them open with a scalpel or exacto knife I'm cutting these open with a sharp object <laughs> because um, actually my objects not that sharp son of a monkey oh well jeez that took forever okay so ah. I'm basically saving these cards from Fast and the Furious. Uh, I'm not sure why, but I've been saving them lately. I don't know if maybe I'm going to, in the future, I might do some kind of weird display with the cards in the back. I don't know. I'm probably going to end up throwing all of these out like I usually do after a short time. So here we go. So, first of all, these bad boys I got from uh, my friend Aaron uh, of Cheap Ass Bricks on YouTube, on Instagram. Cheap Ass Bricks, he's a Lego guy, he has an epic collection. Uh, he also does a bunch of YouTube uh, stuff with his friend Fick, and um, they're awesome guys. But, um, but yeah, I know Aaron more because he lives like 10 minutes away from my house, and uh, he's been uh, nothing but cool to me, and... Uh, just a good friend, man. It's a, it's an honor. But um, this dude, whenever he goes to the flea market, he uh, keeps an eye out for Hot Wheels for me because I'm a diecast collector. Um, and uh, I'm a collector of Hot Wheels Fast and the Furious line. Uh, so um, he got these from a fellow uh, reseller at um, uh, Columbus Farmer's Market. His name is Hot Wheels Johnny. If you guys are local, uh, you know who I'm talking about. And uh, my man got both of these from him uh, for half retail price. These are brand new. Like, these just came out. This is new for 2024. So, um, yeah, uh, I think Aaron picked these up for like four bucks each. Um, and then he ended up just giving these to me as a gift. So, Aaron, I love you, man. Um, 
Thank you so much. Those of you who are uh, getting butthurt or feeling jealous, uh, remember, I also give Aaron stuff. He's a Subaru guy. He works for Subaru. And uh, every time I find Subaru castings, I just get them for him. Uh, Treasure Hunt, Zamax, hard to find stuff, Spring Editions. Uh, haven't found them a Super yet. One day I'll find them a Super. But uh, yeah, so, um, you know, I do what I can for him as well. So uh, this is just me um, adding to my Fast and Furious collection. With me, it's never simple. With me, there's always stories to these things. And um, yeah, obviously this is uh, no exception. <laughs> Sorry if I was way too close. I'm also filming uh, with my uh, rear facing. Like, I can't see myself uh, on the screen, so I have to talk to the lens. And uh, I'm probably way too close or whatever, but here you go. So this is the uh, the Ford RS200. Uh, this was uh, in one of the race scenes, I think possibly Tokyo uh, Drift. I think that's the movie it's from. Uh, but yeah, this is a really cool thing. Um, I've actually come across this particular casting at Target before. I didn't buy it. Because uh, I pre-ordered these things. I pre-ordered them, uh, the full set, uh, like a month or two months ago before these were even like, you know, right when they were announced. I just went to this website. I'm not going to say who they are, but um, in any case, there you go. Uh, I'm still waiting for that pre-order. <laughs> so whenever that gets here, whatever. But my friend uh, came through and now I have these to open and add to my collection and it's cost him eight dollars so unbelievable also uh hot wheels uh johnny i don't know why i was gonna say hot wheels ricky oh pixel game squad hot wheels ricky hot wheels ricky oh man oh those guys i still watch them sometimes man uh, back when i did a lot of flea market content on my channel those guys were um like, we actually even talked once in a while in the comments to each other with Aaron and stuff. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're doing their own thing now, too. They're actually on Whatnot as well. But anyway, this is really cool. Um, I'm glad that Hot Wheels is releasing new castings, even though this was in the movie for, like, five seconds, maybe. I don't know. But uh, what a cool little casting, though, man. I really dig this. This is so awesome. RS200. I just watched uh, Jay Leno review this car, the actual car. Uh, he had it on his show and they talked about it. Really, really cool, like, iconic car uh, with a lot of power. <laughs> All right. So next up is this, the AE86 Trueno. Uh, yeah, it's the Trueno. There's another version. Um, I forget what it's called, um, but the headlights and stuff are different on it. But it's the same year, the same car. I forget why they just changed something on it, whatever. But yeah, this car I'm very excited about because it's a Trueno. I don't have a Hot Wheels Trueno in my collection. I used to have a, a white one with a black hood. I think I sent that to my boy uh, uh, Shane, JDM, Super JDM Diecast. Sorry, I almost said Sean. <laughs> so here we go. Shane's a really good guy, man. Uh, we, we have a couple year history on YouTube. He's a really cool dude. We almost met each other at uh, when he was visiting Philly uh, a few years back. But uh, I'm always here or there. Um, ooh, I appreciate this little protective plastic. A little extra plastic. Ooh, the color on this is nice. This one's nice, guys. Wow. Straight up, all the tempos are great. All the letters are legible. For Hot Wheels, that is... That's saying a lot. Sometimes they use, like, the weirdest, like, printer crap that just looks awful. But anyway, this is also from uh, Tokyo Drift. Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. This was also... Uh, this was in a scene where they're racing down the parking garage. It was just parked. <laughs> Literally, they drove by it. It was just parked, like, in the corner. Um, whatever, man. Oh, I don't need to use my hand. Here you go. 
So yeah, this is really cool. I love the headlights. I love everything on that. The color is fantastic, man. The color is beautiful. Tail lights are nicely done. Like I said, like everything's legible. You can read everything. Really cool, man. So yeah, Toyota AE86, a Sprinter, true and no. Love this car. <sighs> so yeah, man, two of these. Uh, new additions to my uh, Fast and Furious collection. Very happy I got these. And, um, you know, I, I usually mention this, but uh, my collection is very tied to, like, my uh, everyday life. So just buying something... I do just buy things myself often, but I love when the items in my collection are connected to my friends, uh, YouTube followers, or YouTube friends... <laughs> You know what I mean? When there's like a little bit of a story behind these things. I find that really cool, man. Um, and I'm really hoping that it's focusing on these things because that's going to be one blurry mess. But it's how it's going to come out on a video. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I love to have stories. And sometimes even if I like, uh, you know, lose a friend or fellow collector, uh, you know, like to a disagreement or like we part ways if that person's like toxic or negative i'll actually like get rid of the cars i got from those people like be them customs or be them like just cars in my premium collection or anything that i got from those people like i'll actually get rid of that because that's how much things are tied to those things because like if i'm looking at that certain toy or collection or hot wheel or die cast and uh, it came from like a bad person or a negative person, I'm always going to remember that. So I usually either sell those or get rid of them or just like throw them in the lake. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's how I roll, guys. Um, I connect things to people and memories. And uh, this whole collection here is uh, almost every car I can tell you a story about like how I got it, where I got it, when I got it, did I trade it. Was it a gift? Was it a great deal? I don't know. Any any of that stuff. So uh, I love that. I think that's more, more important for a collector to do that than to just accumulate and have like street cred and stuff like that. So that's how your boy Nas rolls, man. Welcome to Nostalgic. This is how we do it on this channel. Uh, it's not just look at this, look at that. Uh, buy buy or here's my store buy my merch uh, send me patreon money uh, none of that uh, I'm sure you can do all of those things uh, I do have a do I have a patreon or I have a I have the members only thing but like it doesn't you know there's a couple of people hitting me up there but I don't like promote that per se like I just did so, um, <laughs> whatever. Uh, also, uh, that was the review of those things. Here's a little bit of bonus for you. Because my man Aaron also hooked me up with... Where is it? Ah. He also got me these as surprises. Also gifts. Um, at one point, like, I couldn't find these for the life of me, man. I went to stores, I found the full sets, but uh, Palette Raiders got to them first before me. And I wasn't able to get the 510 Datsun Wagon from this uh, Neon Speeders thing. Um, so yeah, uh, a couple of my other friends have hooked me up. Like uh, Ryan from uh, Diecast Dojo. <laughs> Old dude. <laughs> uh, Diecast. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you, Aaron. This is great, man. Uh, it's fantastic. Now I can have one out. I can have one on card, one out of card. Uh, I'm probably going to wheel swap this one. So... Aaron, you rock. And he also hooked me up with this. I believe this is the um, Dollar General exclusive um, Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. So how cool is that also, man? So yeah, thanks, man. So yeah, man. Um, that's, uh, that's how we do these things around here, boys. Um, all right. Okay, I'm just going to put those there. Got things happening everywhere here. So yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this little review unboxing and some more of my blabbering talking and stuff. Uh, I appreciate you all. Thank you for spending your time with me. And uh, definitely give me your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Um, 
as long as you're not just trolling me, I will read them and I will answer them to you. Um, I always answer. Um, if your comment is a little confusing or on a negative side, I will answer accordingly. So please don't get offended. I only give what I receive, um, which is how it should be. So yeah, if you misunderstood something, ask me. I will explain it to you. Um, I've uh, been doing this channel for over 10 years now well over 10 years, uh, actively doing collector uh, content for about 10 years, and then actively, <laughs> very actively doing Hot Wheels content for the past like seven years, I think, on YouTube now. So uh, yeah, I had my ups, had my downs, and uh, I really enjoy this. I, I just like making videos, guys, and sharing what I do and sharing my thoughts. So um, that's what this channel is about. It's not just let's go to the peck hunting area and peck hunt for toys or search for Hot Wheels or search for this or that. It's just me sharing my hobbies, sharing my life, sharing my thoughts and opinions. Nostalgic, that's how we roll. All right, guys, I'm going to call this a review. Uh, thank you for watching. New additions to the Fast and Furious Hot Wheels collection, Nostalgic Collection. Check out Nostalgic Collection, hashtag Nostalgic Collection on Instagram. If you're curious in what I collect or what I used to collect and stuff like that. Other than that, see you on Instagram, I guess, nostalgic underscore productions. And uh, I do daily videos here on YouTube, so I'll see you tomorrow. Peace, love, and unity. Remember, own your collection. Don't let your collection own you. Rock!